eight knots of wind. We're sailing at close reach. So we've got, I'm going to introduce you all four of our sails. First, we have the Genoa. About 150 percent. It uh, is the furling Genoa. It's a good reaching sail. Next is a staysail jib. It's a flying staysail. There's no actual cable here, so you put it up and take it down the time. It's a really good upwind sail. It's very, very versatile. Uh, it did not come original to the boat. Following that, it's a little bouncy today, so I'm walking funny. Now we have our mainsail. So we have no reefs in it today. We can put uh, one, two, or three reefs in. But the uh, reefs are a way of shortening the sail to make it effectively smaller. And then we have the mizzen. Mizzen is our third sail, our fourth, sorry, fourth sail. And uh, it really helps with steering sometimes. Uh, it doesn't do it, give as much power as either the mainsail or the Genoa. So with four different sails, there are a total of 16 possible combinations. Don't make sense, but um, mathematically 16. Then we can also fly a gale sail on the rolled up Genoa. So roll up the Genoa and then we fly a gale sail. So that adds some more possibilities. And then we have a spinnaker on top of that. Uh, we generally don't fly any other sails with the spinnaker. So that's that's Athena's sailing rig with four sails all flying. Very comfortable. Very nice uh, sailing today. We're in Bristol, Rhode Island, and we're heading to the Hershoff Museum, where Hershoff was a revolutionary in changing sailing into a pleasure sport, making the yachting industry what it is today. Prior to Hershoff, primarily sailboats were work boats, and Hershoff helped bring sailing to the rich and the wealthy, and ultimately to the common person. So we're off for a dinghy ride. Hi, Gary. Hey, come join me. We'll go zoom zoom. <laughs> so go past that emotion thing. The second floor provides a wonderful overview of boats created here at, by Hershoff from the 1800s to the present day, from small craft designed for a weekend pleasure to the boats seen here that ended up winning the America's Cup. Forms were created from which measurements could be made for the final product. Directional size models were created for testing in tanks. An America's Cup winner on display. Simple and elegant boats with clean lines. These were the hallmark of Hershoff yachts. And in the early days, Steam was the motive power. Steam boilers were regularly fitted on the earlier motor boats or combination motor sailors.
Thani, Arizona. 1905 motor yacht designed by Hershoff. It's quite luxurious.